Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I thought I would start this off over at the title screen here so I could show you how much progress we've made already. Look at that! Already 100 cards in the album! Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's... The more you win, the faster your card collection will grow. Anyway, let's continue the game and I have decided that I am going to skip this guy for now and come back later. You know, when I do the fighting club stuff. And head over to another sort of kind of grass place nearby here. The Science Club. Let's take a look around here. Greetings, welcome to the Science Club. This club is for technicians who love the sciences. The Pokemon cards you see are those with the powers of science. What are science Pokemon? Well, they're pretty much like poison grass Pokemon that are weak against Psychic and yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. They're just a different kind of grass Pokemon. I get so involved in the Pokemon trading card game, I lose track of time. Isn't the Pokemon trading card game really fun? Oh yeah! Um, um, do you know Ishihara? No. He lives in the house in the Capes Northwest. He's a very famous card collector. I hope to be like him someday. Hmm, I really gotta meet that guy. Please don't disturb me. I'm in the middle of a very important experiment. If I use Ditto now, this will happen. Please don't disturb me! I'm in the middle of a very important experiment! If I use Porygon now, this will happen. One more time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's got a couple different bits of dialogue there. I don't understand science, but I understand Pokemon cards. I lost! <laughs> uh, oh, you know what I should do? You know what I should do? You know what I should do? Let's check our mail! Oh, we got two new pieces of mail. Mark, it's me, Dr. Mason. I have some information for you about Mitch's deck. He's the master of the fighting club. His first strike deck is built for a quick attack, but it's weak against psychic Pokemon. His first strike deck is probably one of the most powerful decks in the game, by the way, so don't tackle him until later, until you build a good deck of your own. I suggest you duel him using the deck from the Psychic Metal Deck Machine. Here's a booster pack for you. Woo! I got a laboratory booster pack! Ooh, Game Boy version of Ninetales. Uh, mix up here allows you to flip flop, yeah, some sort of stuff here, the Pokemon and stuff and stuff. And, but more importantly, is Dancing Embers here. This thing can do up to 80 damage if you get a lot of coin flips. It takes forever to use this attack though, but it's not too shabby. On average, you're gonna do 40 damage with it, so it's relatively consistent, and Ninetales has uh, 80 HP, which is pretty nice. Maintenance is kind of a junk card. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's better card drawing cards than this one. Uh, seen that? I think you've seen this. Did you see this? Well, now you've seen this. Yeah, you can pull other... Oh yeah, I did show that before because of the fighting Pokemon deck strategy. Uh, getting a lot of duplicates here, unfortunately, but that's the random number generator for ya. Uh, I think I covered Venonap before... So yeah, let's move on here. Mark, I know you can do it! Go win the fighting medal! Later. <laughs> Mason Laboratory. Dr. Mason. Semicolon. Close parentheses. And number three. This is me, Dr. Mason! Have you won many Master Medals? No, I just got one. I have some information for you about Nikki's deck. She's the master of the Glass Club. I beat her already! You must be wary of Executors. Big explosion with Nikki's deck. Use your fire Pokemon to knock out XAQ and Executor at an early stage. I suggest you study deck in the Fire Metal Deck Machine. And I'll give you a booster pack that should contain a lot of fire Pokemon. Or will it? Because they're still random. Uh, I got a pincer. Kinda sorta decent because of Iron Grip, but Guillotine's a little overpriced. Uh, another version of that Magmar, you know, Growlithe, uh, Magikarp. Ah, the greatest fish of all time. Yes, no one can defeat a Magikarp deck. No one. No one. Um, Jigglypuff has potential. Oh, another Machop. I might want to slap that in my deck. I rather like these uh, basic Pokemon with single energy, 20 damage attacks like that. Uh, especially in the early game. Because you don't really have much to work with and all like that. Uh, maybe I'll even... Ooh, ooh, okay. Did it have a lot of fire Pokemon? The weakness of grass Pokemon. Mason Laboratory, Dr. Mason. Semicolon, close parentheses. Alright, so... Let's go to our deck. 
And plop in that matcha. Take out. How about the dog trio? <laughs> I know my po my deck contains a lot of basic Pokemon, but really, what I'm playing here is isn't really that bad of a deck. <laughs> um, I think I talked to everyone, so let's move on. Well, I mean, yeah, there are the bookshelves here, and we've already been to the multiplayer stuff. These girls just have the same things to say at every single place, so let's just skip those in the future. Got it? Good. All right. Science. This club is for technicians to live the sciences. Uh, wait, I already talked to you, didn't I? Oh, oh, this is quite the atmosphere change here. I can't chat with the computer, that's too bad. Can I chat with the shelf full of beakers? No. Well, anyway, we got a three got three choices going on here. I'm gonna do... Well, maybe I'll chat with you first, actually. Hey, you! Rick, the club master, is in the middle of an important experiment. There's no time to see someone like you. If you really want to see him, you have to defeat me first. Uh, no, I'll defeat you a little bit later. Hey, hey well, you're kind of rude there, Mr. Science Boy. Just because you got a college degree doesn't doesn't mean that you should have such attitude with your superiority complex. Anyway, let's talk to this guy here. We research Pokemon cards here at the Science Club, especially science Pokemon cards. Science Pokemon are exceedingly strong. Yeah, they're, they're kind of average, actually. Would you like to duel against my science Pokemon deck? Why? Yes, I would! Let's begin. So he's got a poison deck. It's pretty self-explanatory. He's gonna be trying to poison your Pokemon. Uh, he's gonna use stuff like coughing, Ekans, Weedle, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, the poison... Oh god, my opening hand! It's abysmal! <laughs> I might just lose by default because I have a terrible hand. In these sorts of cases, don't think that your deck sucks, it's just that you got unlucky. So don't worry if you lose in such cases, just try again. You have unlimited shots, and I'm glad he wasn't able to poison my Ratfink. <laughs> uh, plus power. Uh, I, that's not really all that useful, because I, it'll still take two attacks and knock out Weedle with Bite. And if he poisons Rattata, I am done for! <laughs> but we'll see how things go here. Remember, I can always just restart the battle if need be. Um, chances are he's gonna knock out Rattata on the next turn, so I better get a basic Pokémon. Ah, I got a basic Pokémon, very nice. Okay, so let's get Pikachu powered up, and... Gnaw that me Weedle into submission. Good? Good. And now, with the Nidoran, I mean, male Nidorans, there's a 50-50 chance that its attacks are gonna do squats. Which works in my favor sometimes. <laughs> so, don't think that you're gonna be attacked horrendously or something by uh, Nidoran males. You might not be getting any attacks from them whatsoever, but also, Plan for the worst! As I said, always plan for the worst. Oh boy, he's got the wheezing! Okay, he's gonna knock it out. Oh, he knocked out my rat. Oh no. Oh, poor rat. Poor, poor rat. Alright, let's plop that Pikachu out there. And... oh god, that wheezing is... It's gonna destroy me. <laughs> this is, it might self-destruct and that'll just wipe me out, because I'm still lacking... Uh, basic Pokemon. Ah, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> well, ah, uh, well, ah. Uh. <laughs> Maybe what I should do is try and put pressure on it. And do that. And then I will attach that. And see if we can do 50 damage. Yes! Mm, that means if I draw a basic poke oh, 40 damage, excuse me. <laughs> if the uh, tails was to prevent myself from taking damage, I'm sorry. But uh, the thing is that I want to- oh god, he's gonna get an energy card, then he's gonna self-destruct, and my Pikachu is a goner. <laughs> All because of a bad opening hand. Here it comes! Oh, oh. oh no! <laughs> oh well. It happens! That is the nature of the Pokémon trading card game. It self-destruct does damage to Pokémon on the bench as well, including his own bench. But, uh, well, I, I might get a prize, but I have no bench Pokémon, so I lose. <laughs> it's okay. As I said, bad hands sometimes happen. Just try it again, and you will be okay. So how do you like the results of my research? They are average at best, in all honesty. <laughs> 
mean, even if I, even though I got a bad hand, I still um, managed to do a good amount of damage to his Pokemon. You know, like I, I was dishing out more than he was for the most part. Uh, this is a better hand. Like I, I got computer search for, uh, say, a Charmeleon or, or maybe another basic Pokemon or something like that. We'll see how things go. By the way, uh, coughing. Pretty mean Pokemon there. This is why. Uh, foul gas. If heads, you're poison. If tails, you're confused. <laughs> there, there's no such thing as a bad coin flip with coughing. It's just that you don't know exactly what's gonna happen. But anyway, I'm gonna stall that coughing out by doing that. Plopping that on there, and then doing a little scratchy scratch there. I might just go for a Charmeleon to kind of try and sweep him. Perhaps, maybe, could be. Uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, first, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to attack with just a scratch here. Not going to go with an Ember or anything like that. I want to keep my energy cards building up, and oh god, here comes the stink of the century! <laughs> well, poison's not good, because I don't have any basic Pokemon again! But uh, if I heal, uh, I mean, if I evolve Charmander, the poison status effect will be nullified. So I think that's what I'm going to do here, is uh, computer search for one of those critters. I'll drop that, and I'll drop that, I guess. Uh, I hope I got, yeah, I was going to say, I hope I got a Charmeleon in the deck, and it's not one of the prize cards. <laughs> Alright, and slash it, finish it off, there we go. And... Now, he only has one bench Pokemon left, and it is a Nidoran male. So that could not... That, that might not go very well for him. Oh, it's going very well for him. <laughs> Fire Energy card, please. I very much appreciate that. Oh, Poopers. Well, I got Bill. Why haven't I played... Oh, wait, that, that was not the card I got from my... Oh, well, I mean, I got a Fire Energy. Very nice. Uh, yeah, the Bill must have been the prize card. I was clicking through things too fast, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well use a potion just for kicks. Flamethrower! For the win! And now you don't have any bench Pokemon! How do you like those apples, huh? 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 I win! <laughs> See, that's what I mean about a luck can sometimes be in your favor or be against you and stuff like that. It's just how trading card games work. So just keep trying until you win. I can't believe my science Pokemon deck could lose. Alright, I got an evolution booster pack! By the way, if, if it's not obvious already, if you would like to collect cards, like, between parts that I'm making here, feel free to just reduel uh, people that you've already dueled before and just keep collecting booster packs in them. You'll, your collection will grow before you know it. Uh, here's the bee drill. It's eh, uh, sort of kind of iffy. It has potential to do some decent damage, but uh, uh, Poison Sting is probably the thing that you'll be aiming for. Its only issue is that its HP is kind of low for a Stage 2 Pokémon, but eh, not that bad. I did that. Oh, Super Potion. It's a little bit better than the Potion, I guess you could say, in, in sort of kind of ways, because it removes four damage counters, at, but it, it takes away one energy card from that Pokémon, and yeah! So, use this carefully, <laughs> if you have one. Uh, Graveler, kind of kind of good for stalling, for you know, until you get a Rock Throw powered up. Rock Throw is a little bit expensive for 40, but you can, as I said, stall with Harden. And uh, let's see here, Seen Eevee, uh, I'm pretty sure you've seen that Evolute, I mean, uh, version of Ghastly. Probably, see, yeah, you've seen Bulbasaur by now. La 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 la. Wait, did you see Metapod? I don't think you've seen Metapod. Let's see, yeah, it's it's one of the it's a sort of kind of stalling move here, which is probably your best bet with Metapod. Uh, well, okay, maybe not. If you have uh, two Grass Energy Stun Spore, beats that out, because you'll be able to do uh, damages at, with that as well. Alright, and another Evolution Booster Pack! Holy poopers! <laughs> we got another Charizard card. That could be nice if I get some more Charmeleons to balance it out, you know, so I can more consistently get it out. Or a Pokemon Breeder card a little bit later, but, you know, I, I haven't collected that many cards yet. Uh, Jinx, I already went through that this is a pretty decent Pokemon for a Psychic deck. I like Mr. Mime more than Jinx, though. Mr. Mime combined with uh, Alakazam, that's a combo that will make your opponent grind their teeth. But anyway, that's, that's for the future. <laughs> Uh, I'm, have you seen Ivysaur? You might have seen Ivysaur. It's a pretty simple card, really. Uh, it doesn't really have all that much HP, despite its 
you know, I mean, and its energy costs are kind of high, but it's, it's, you gotta have it to get on your way to Venusaur, basically. <laughs> uh, Gust of Wind, very nice. You know Cubone, uh, da, 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 ba, 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 you know, you see Squirtle, I think you might have. Yeah, I can paralyze, and I can also prevent damage. Alright, I must research this further! You do that. But for now, I'm gonna re retool my deck here. <laughs> I'm thinking... No, I still only got one Charmeleon, so yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the balance down so that you know I don't have to worry about the... Uh, not drawing a Charmeleon or something, I need to get Charizard out, you know, have, having Charizard as a dead draw or something like that. Uh, Growlithe balance is okay with Arcanine. Um, with Evolutions, what you're generally aiming for, this is generally, there, there's, you know, there's other ways around this, but what you're aiming for is like a step ladder. So if you have two stages of a Pokemon, you want four of the basic Pokemon, three of the stage one, and then two of the stage two. Uh, you know, it's it's it just goes in descending order. Uh, depending on the higher type of Pokemon, and yeah, you get what I'm saying here, because it's it's a thing of that you want to get them drawn in about that order, so you gotta manipulate your possibilities by having them in such an order. But as I said, it's not it's not a rule; it's just a general tip, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, let's see here. You know, I really didn't get that many good uh, cards from my deck, now did I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess that's all right, uh, but I did get the trainer cards, which I was pleased with. Uh, most uh, one being gust of wind there. Uh, maybe what I'll do is put that gust of wind in there, and then I will. Uh, I'm not really getting much use out of the super energy removal, am I? <laughs> It's good for Pokemon decks that you can accelerate energy droppages, but maybe not my deck at the moment. So yeah, let's save that. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I go battle that guy. Sound good? Good. By the way, you can hold B button to run around. Whee! Look at me go! Super fizz fast and speedy and hyper, and I had too much caffeine. Let's do this guy next part! Arr.